Lens Cards 2025 has been its biggest year yet. They had another operationally profitable quarter, a public listing in November, and market cap crossing rupees 70,000 crore. But what really changed inside Lens Card to make all this happen? First, the Lens Card brand is evolving. They don't want to be seen as just the eyewear brand anymore. Now, they are trying to become a wearable tech company. They launched Phonic Audio Glasses in 2024. They invested in Arjuna Lens, a deep tech XR startup this year. And now, they are ready to launch B by Lensguard. AI-powered smart glasses with Sony camera, Gemini 2.5 live build-in, hands-free photos, UPI payments, live translation, and more. The interesting part is that they are opening this platform to Indian developers. So, food delivery, fitness, or entertainment apps can be built directly for these glasses. Now, smart eyewear is still niche and expensive, but shipments grew over 1,000% last year. So, Lenscart wants to be early when the wave hits. Second, they are doing a serious Make in India push. Currently, only 20-25% to 25 of its frames are made in India. But now, a new rupees 1,500 crore plant in Telangana aims to shift manufacturing from China to India, cutting import dependence and giving Lenscart tighter control over costs and supply. But there are some pressure points. Their revenue did jump from Rs. 3,789 crore in FY23 to Rs. 6,651 crore in FY25, and net profit hit Rs. 290 7 crore, but a big chunk of that came from other income and not core operations, which are still on thin margins, while expenses touched nearly Rs. 1980 crore in Q2 FY26. Even their IPO, despite huge buzz, listed at a slight discount and fell almost 9% on day one, with valuations at around 235 times their FY25 earnings. 2026 becomes their real test. Can Lenscart prove that its smart glasses make an India bet and store expansion translate into steady profit and strong unit economics?